नमस्कार स्वागत है आप सभी का पीएमए विद्या चैनल में आपके साथ मैं हूं मुक्ता कांडियाल और आप देख रहे हैं हमारे ये लाइव इंटरक्टिव सेशन और आज की हमारी जो सत्र होने वाली है वो सब्जेक्ट इंग्लिश है और जो टॉपिक आज का हमारे सत्र के लिए रहेगा वो है अलर्टेड टू गॉड अंडरस्टैंडिंग एंड अप्रिशिएटिंग द स्टोरी चैप्टर वन हमारा ये रहेगा और इसे पढ़ाने के लिए जो एक्सपर्ट आज हमारे साथ स्टूडियो में मौजूद है सबसे पहले मैं उनका परिचय आपसे करा देना चाहती हूँ आज के हमारे एक्सपर्ट हैं प्रोफेसर सरयुग यादव सर इज वर्किंग एट डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एजुकेशन इन लैंग्वेजेस एट एन नमस्कार सर बहुत बहुत स्वागत है आपका हमारे सत्र में थैंक यू वेरी मच गुड आफ्टरनून और आज का जो हमारा ये सत्र है वो कक्षा दसवीं के छात्रों के लिए है तुम्हारा ये प्रोग्राम पी एम विद्य के चैनल नंबर टेन पर लाइव प्रसारित हो रहा है तो अगर आपको किसी भी तरह का प्रश्न हो किसी भी तरह की क्वेरी आपके सत्र के लिए हो इस टॉपिक के लिए हो तो आप जरूर हमें फोन करके पूछ सकते हैं हमारा फोन नंबर है एट आप चाहें तो ई के द्वारा भी हमारे साथ जुड़ सकते हैं और अपने प्रश्न हम तक पहुंचा सकते हैं हमारा ई एड्रेस है डी टी तो चलिए आज हम ये सत्र शुरू करते हैं टॉपिक मैंने आपको अभी बताया अलर्टेड टू गॉड अंडरस्टैंडिंग एंड अप्रिशिएटिंग द स्टोरी तो सर की तरफ रुक करते हैं सर से पूछते हैं कि क्या एग्जैक्टली exactly, सर ये इस लेटर जैसा आज का हमारा टॉपिक है तो किस लेटर की यहाँ पर हम बात करने वाले हैं इनफैक्ट हियर इट इज ए स्टोरी ब्यूटिफुल स्टोरी रिटन बाई जी एल फेंटस एंड इन दिस स्टोरी देर इज ए फार्मर हु इज वेरी पुअर so he has written a letter to god actually this is not a simple letter okay. uh, for corresponding to each other but his belief uh, is so powerful that he thinks that his problem will be solved when he will write a letter to god uh, uh, so now uh, let me begin uh, before i come uh, to the actual plot of the story uh, as ma'am has pointed out that uh, in this session i am going to Uh, highlight or i am going to uh, just present bef before you that uh, what is the story uh, why a story is important and uh, why this a uh, story particularly a letter to god is significant and uh, one of the best stories of the world uh, friends uh, um, let me tell you that uh, how uh, a short story is different from novel or drama or any other genre of literature in fact short story is a kind of literary form which presents a single incident and it is important because of its remarkable dramatic element dramatic effect so it must be very short it must throw a searching light on life because when we compare short story with a novel uh, it becomes clear that in novel we have so many characters but in short story we have only a few characters uh, but the plot is very significant because it throws light on a single incident in the individual of a life uh, so and besides that there are some other elements which are important they are Uh, psychological emotional and philosophical element you will see that how these elements have been incorporated in this beautiful story and uh, one thing uh, before coming to the point uh, i must tell you that a good sort of story must have a good beginning means a resting beginning it should have then a good climax and finally a satisfying end Uh, so now let me now uh, tell uh, that uh, who is the author of this uh, beautiful story uh, that is uh, you know a letter to god and uh, this is uh, something very unusual uh, because uh, you know uh, normally we find that uh, uh, a letter is written to friends relatives uh, our near and dear but in this sort of story you will uh, come across uh, a person a farmer uh, when uh, he does not get expected crops when uh, actually reading sort of story is necessary uh, but before that i must tell in brief about the writer about the author gil fontes uh, you know Uh, he was uh, one of the leading writers particularly he was known as a very uh, good novelist of the 20th century and uh, he is known for his humanism 
when you will read his writing it will touch the human heart the human soul uh, there is something which is universal so now after this uh, let us uh, try to know that who are the main characters in this story uh, lencho is the main protagonist uh, who is a poor farmer very hard working and uh, the most important thing is that he has great faith tremendous faith in god and then uh, lencho's uh, wife and children and there are two more characters who are also significant one is postman and another is postmaster and uh, uh, let me uh, just tell you that uh, what are the main themes in this story when you will read the story you will find that uh, first theme which emerges uh, when we read this story is uh, lencho's absolute <coughs> faith in god uh, because uh, his faith is tremendous in god uh, and uh, it is uh, being displayed when he wrote a letter to god because he thinks that uh, he needs some money in order to maintain the requirement in the family and also to buy some uh, seeds for the crops so he wrote uh, a letter to god and uh, finally we find that uh, you know uh, of course uh, money does not come from god uh, but his faith is sustained by the benevolence of uh, the postman and the postmaster and other employees of the post office and uh, number two another theme which is important is that nature versus man actually you will find that although we know that nature is uh, our friend philosopher and guide as william wordsworth says but at many occasions we find that nature is very ruthless just like a wild animal uh, in the form of a storm in the form of flood drought uh, so in this story it has been shown that uh, how nature can be ruthless because the good crops of uh, you know uh, lencho is destroyed and uh, we find that you know uh, it is so ruthless that he gets nothing uh, despite of his hard work and sincere effort his uh, crop yields uh, are all destroyed and nothing is left uh, so uh, there is a kind of uh, you know a uh, clash between uh, nature and man and man is found here very kind very helpful uh, lencho and one thing also emerges at the end of the story that although lencho's requirement is fulfilled uh, but uh, he is a greedy person uh, that is reflected at the end uh, despite of his faith in god uh, he does not believe that uh, uh, you know some human being can be also helpful and uh, the irony irony is a kind of situation uh, when there is a gap between what you expect and what happens lencho uh, you know is helped by uh, those employees of the post office uh, but uh, he does not even imagine or think that these people can be helpful so uh, when he gets 70 pesos uh, Uh, being sent by these implies uh, he uh, does not oblige or he does not express thanks because and it happens all because he does not know because he thinks that it is all because of uh, god but he also believes that god cannot commit a mistake because his demand was uh, 100 pesos uh, but it was uh, only 70 pesos uh, so now Uh, let us see that uh, in brief that what is there in the story uh, what is the plot the main uh, uh, you know uh, things which happen uh, in the entire story of course uh, reading a story uh, will provide you the detailed uh, you know uh, information uh, but let me tell you that because it is necessary to know the gist of the story uh, the main plot of the story Uh, so let me just uh, uh, again recapitulate by telling you that uh, lencho was a dedicated farmer he is very hard working uh, and uh, this year he was expecting very good harvest because uh, you know there is a description in the book that his house is just on the top of a hill 
and from there he finds that uh, all the valley appears to be full of flowers and uh, that is a sign of a good harvest but it does not happen actually to his dismay a hail storm came and destroyed he destroyed his harvest completely and uh, after the destruction he becomes very sad and uh, nothing is left at all uh, but uh, he says that uh, what uh, um, uh, is if uh, we have lost everything? Uh, because God is there, God can help him. So uh, he believes in God, he wrote a letter to God, and he demands uh, 100 pesos because he thinks that if God will send him 100 pesos, pesos is a currency in uh, several uh, North American countries. Uh, just like rupee in India. Uh, so he wrote a letter and he himself went to the post office and uh, just uh, uh, put it into the uh, box. And uh, when he left the post office, uh, you know, uh, the postman uh, took out the letter. And uh, when he found that it was addressed to God, it was not addressed to a person, then uh, he laughed, uh, first of all himself, and then he went to the postmaster uh, uh, and showed him that, sir, see, this is a strange letter, uh, because he has never seen in his life uh, uh, this kind of letter addressed to God. Uh, naturally, he also laughed a lot, but immediately the postmaster, uh, being a very kind-hearted person, he became very serious. And uh, he thought that what can be done uh, for this uh, gentleman. Uh, so he managed some money, uh, some uh, pesos. Uh, he also uh, gave uh, some part of his salary. He also arranged uh, some pesos from uh, his uh, uh, friends uh, in the post office. Uh, but he could not uh, complete 100 pesos. He could uh, arrange only 70 pesos and he put that pesos, that money, that currency into an envelope and uh, uh, just address to Lencho and put in the uh, box. Uh, and uh, after a few days, when Lencho uh, comes to the post office, uh, he finds that uh, actually uh, a letter was given to him. Uh, and uh, uh, he finds that uh, when he counted, he found that it is only 70 pesos. Uh, so he became very, he, he, uh, it was not a surprise for him because his faith in God was complete. Uh, but he became angry with God uh, because uh, he told that uh, I demanded uh, 100 pesos, but why did you send me only 70 pesos? Uh, and uh, immediately, uh, he went uh, to the counter, he demanded a, an envelope, uh, he also took a paper and wrote again uh, a second later to God that please send the remaining uh, pesos uh, so that uh, I can feel comfortable in fulfilling the requirements of my family and also uh, buy some uh, seeds uh, for the future crops. And uh, the postmaster and the postman, they were watching him uh, very eagerly. Uh, and uh, he wrote in the letter, that is very remarkable. Uh, he wrote that, uh, God, you cannot commit a mistake, I know. Neither you can commit a mistake in counting the pesos. Uh, but uh, beware, this time don't send me pesos uh, through mail. Uh, through uh, this uh, kind of, uh, you know, means uh, which can come to the post office because uh, uh, all the implies, uh, because uh, they are uh, a bunch of crooks, uh, uh, they might have stolen uh, my currency. And after listening, listening to this, uh, they were all, uh, you know, uh, taken aback. Uh, they were uh, very much, uh, you know, uh, they couldn't understand that uh, what uh, he has written because he, when they read it, uh, uh, he found that uh, this is how uh, Lencho has written about them. Uh, so uh, this is in brief the story. Uh, and uh, you know, 
uh, what is the message? Uh, if you uh, come uh, to the conclusion, you will find that uh, the message of the story is that, uh, you know, uh, it is very difficult to be a human being in this inhuman world. Uh, but on the one hand, uh, faith can move the mountain. It is all because of the faith, tremendous faith of uh, Lencho, uh, that he could get uh, that currency, that uh, amount, uh, which was, uh, of course, uh, not complete, but partially his requirement was fulfilled. Uh, it may not by God, uh, but human beings are still so kind, so helpful, that they could arrange uh, for him and uh, he did forget because uh, his greed also appears uh, uh, very apparent ultimately. Uh, but on the other hand, those people must be saluted, those people must be appreciated uh, that uh, still in this world we have people like postman and postmaster uh, who are always ready to cooperate and help the people who are in need. Uh, so we have learned from this story that faith is the force of life and uh, you know faith has the power to give us what we want to fulfill our needs. However, uh, people should not forget that and they should realize that humanity is still prevails in this world and uh, we should always respect those people who are kind-hearted and very helpful uh, for those needy people. And uh, uh, one thing that uh, uh, I want to tell about this story is that uh, this story is not a very simple story like others. Why? It is because, you know, uh, no doubt uh, uh, this is a story which depicts the life of a poor farmer like Lencho uh, in a rural Mexico. Uh, Lencho loses his crops due to hailstones and heavy rainfall. But uh, when we go deeper down into the details of the story, we find that it presents much more than that. It presents humanity at a large in its handling of characters, situations, traits and truths. So the import of the story goes far beyond the background and the plot and makes it relevant for any period of history. It has universal appeal and significance. So there are some elements in this story which make it uh, so universal that it crosses the boundary of a country, geographical boundary, or even it crosses the time. It was important when it was written, still it is important because it talks about some universal values of life which are so significant in making our life so significant, so relevant, and it will sweeten the streams of human life. So this is all that I wanted to tell you about uh, this story in <coughs> brief. Uh, well, thank you so much, sir. And it indeed was not an any ordinary story, I would say. We learned a lot about, um, you know, about faith, how immense faith and blind faith, I would say, Lanjo had in God. And how innocent, could I, you know, <laughs> depict him as innocent, sir, also? Uh, yes, certainly, mm -hmm. because in the beginning, uh, he was uh, mm -hmm. hardworking, mm -hmm. he was a very good man, mm -hmm. innocent, because mm -hmm. this uh, indicates uh, his innocence. Mm -hmm. Uh, otherwise, he could have not written later yeah, to God. Yeah, I don't think so. Any normal human had, being... Had he been yeah. very normal or... Uh, no um, normal human being uh, would write a letter ah, yes, to the because, God. Yes, ah, yes. yes, yes. So. But sir, I also noticed that in your last uh, statement, you talked about some universal values that could be the foundation of one's life. So could you, you know, explain what universal values you were talking about? Actually, uh, those universal values have been, uh, you know, uh, reflected by not only Lencho. Lencho in the beginning because... Uh, when we find that in our life there are some situations mm -hmm. uh, when no friends, no relatives, no near and dears can solve. Mm -hmm. Then uh, we look upward, we look uh, for something who are invisible and naturally uh, we um, uh, just uh, uh, look for the help from God. Mm -hmm. So this is uh, the kind of value mm -hmm. 
uh, which is time, uh, which is from time immemorial, mm -hmm. and it sustains our life mm -hmm. because uh, this is very important, and it provides us inner strength, mm -hmm. moral strength to fight the you know problems in the life. Mm -hmm. And later on, uh, the values which have been displayed by postmaster. In the beginning, he laughed at the you know innocence or mm. foolishness of Lencho, mm. but later on, uh, he could realize that he must be a very needy person. He must be a very uh, 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 actually uh, need. Uh, mm. uh, so mm. he thought that uh, I must help. Mm. So this uh, you know urge mm. to help somebody who is in need mm. uh, is some universal values, uh, which uh, actually is necessary mm -hmm. to sustain. Uh, the beauty of life. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you know, suppose that everybody is selfish and self-centered, exactly. uh, then life will be a hell. Mm -hmm. Life will lose much of the beauty in our exactly. life. Exactly, just like Postman. He ah. just read the letter and I think he just overlooked. He didn't give ah. any attention to that. He right. chose right. what exactly right. he is demanding from the God. And also, sir, um, one more thing I, which I actually, you know, uh, caught my attention. I think it's very deep as well. The humanity of the postmaster there. So he, you know, arranged that 70 pesos to, you know, to provide Lencho and send that into mail to him. But when Lencho write back that again, when, when he write one more letter to the God saying that, you know, you know, these post, uh, ah, <laughs> post person, a bunch yeah, of group, yeah, uh, first groups. bunch of groups might have taken ah. some money out of my hundred pesos. So uh, in that case, I think in general life as well, today's life, I think if someone tries to be human, someone tries to be, uh, tries to help someone in some in, in some cases, you know, if that doesn't pay back, I won't say pay back, uh, like pay back, pay back, but like in, the, in this case, like postman, in the postmaster, like when he got to know about Lencho's feeling. So how in that situation one could, you know, react to that? Uh, actually, you know, the story ends uh, at this suspense. Hmm. Uh, uh, there is no uh, actually reflection or reaction mm -hmm. from the side of the postmaster. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, what I believe that, yes. uh, mm -hmm. uh, what I could uh, predict or I can uh, think about his reaction. Mm. Uh, of course, uh, normal in a normal situation, people uh, will react uh, very sharply mm -hmm. and uh, they may think that uh, see the result mm -hmm. of some benevolent uh, mm. deed. Uh, but I believe that still uh, he, because the story ends there, mm. so uh, he must have been, he must have forgiven mm. uh, Lencho because he must have taken him as innocent mm. because he, uh, he didn't blame Lencho. Mm. Uh, because had he blamed, then uh, the writer could have written some mm. words, mm. but he is silent here. And sometimes silence speaks louder than is speaking. Hmm. So I believe that here lies the beauty uh, of the story that he uh, believes that uh, no doubt people may have grudge, may have some uh, kind of comments uh, about the good deeds. But good people are always there. Uh, and they believe in forgiveness and forget. I think, yes, I think this could uh, be so taken this out. This is the message yeah, yeah, that... This uh, message could uh, be from today's session that no matter what you get in return, please uh, be continuing being a good human being to uh, continue doing good deeds. Okay, thank you so much, sir, for joining with us today and coming to the studio and delivering such informative, such knowledgeable uh, session to all our viewers. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, thank you very much. और मैं अपने दर्शकों से यही कहना चाहूंगी फिलहाल हम इस सत्र को यहीं पर समाप्त करें लेकिन हम जल्द हाजिर होंगे पीएम विद्या पर अपने एक नए सत्र के साथ फिलहाल मुझे दीजिए इजाजत नमस्कार